This is Richard Midkiff, a justice advocate and respected community leader in Florida. He faces an urgent and unjust risk of reincarceration for an offense committed when he was 19 and for which he's already served 23 years. During more than two decades in prison, Richard self-rehabilitated and launched groundbreaking leadership programs for fellow incarcerated individuals. He served as the senior law clerk in the law library and became a pillar for his family and community. Richard was released in 2019, and one year after coming home, he's a successful paralegal, recognized justice leader, and a devoted family man and partner. Kim Chris Sutherland, the former warden at Marion Correctional Institution where Richard was held, describes him as a, quote, reflection of what success looks like in the criminal justice system. Not only has Richard transformed his own life, but he has assisted in transforming the lives of others both inside and out of prison, end quote. Despite all this and his valuable contributions and serving 23 years behind bars, Richard's life and liberty are at grave risk. He's been ordered back into prison. Richard was arrested at 19 and entered the Florida Department of Corrections at 22 with no formal education and a 38-year prison sentence. He was determined to use his time to effect positive change, so he embarked on a journey of self-development and personal growth. In 2003, Richard enrolled in an education program and received his GED. But because of his lengthy sentence, he was ineligible for vocational training courses. Richard began to educate himself, and through self-teaching in the fields of history, literature, and finance, he became interested in the stock market. In 2007, Richard was transferred to the Marion Correctional Institution, where he remained until his release. Richard's career in law began there. In 2009, he became a certified law clerk, and over the next 12 years, he assisted hundreds of incarcerated individuals with their legal cases. He was promoted to senior law clerk at the law library, and from 2013 to 2018, Marion CI was rated as one of the best law libraries in the Florida Department of Corrections. Building re-entry and leadership programs from the inside in addition to his legal work, in 2015, he launched a program called Storytime Dads, where incarcerated fathers record reading a children's book to their children. An edited video and book is sent to the children to encourage them to watch their father read to them or to read along with their father. The program runs on donations and is offered at no cost to the incarcerated father, the family, or the Florida Department of Corrections. To date, hundreds of incarcerated fathers have had the opportunity to read a children's book to their children, a process that allows for healing from the inside out. On July 24, 2018, Richard filed a post-conviction motion that he prepared in the Orange County 9th Judicial Circuit Court of Florida. And on July 18, 2019, the court granted his motion and he was released from prison on July 21st, 2019. Richard is a pillar of strength for his family and community. Through the profits from his businesses and investments, Richard has been able to support his mother and sisters. In June of 2020, Richard happily announced his engagement to his longtime partner, Mariana, and they plan on getting married in the coming year. In a devastating turn of events, Richard's release order was overturned by the state of Florida's 5th District Court of Appeal on July 2nd, 2020. Richard plans to appeal the decision, has filed for clemency, and seeks support from communities near and far in a collective fight for justice and dignity. To learn more and support Richard's fight for justice, please email justice the number four Richard Midkiff at gmail.com. Now let's hear from Richard. Happy Fourth of July, everybody. Today's the day that we celebrate our independence. And two days ago I learned that my independence is at grave risk. Most of you know my story, most of you know where I come from, and most of you now know that I just spent 23 years in prison for a crime that was committed when I was 19 years old. Both myself and my co-defendant were convicted of second-degree murder and sentenced to prison. About two years ago, my co-defendant was released early, and I petitioned the court asking them to uphold the performance in the plea agreement, specifically that the plea agreement stated he would do more time in prison because he was the actual perpetrator of the crime. The state attorney's office objected to the court's desire to release me. The court did, however, release me a year ago. The state of Florida appealed that decision, and on July 2nd, the 5th District Court of Appeals overturned that decision. And they're remanding me back to the Florida Department of Corrections to complete the rest of my sentence. In all my years, 
I have strived to make the right choices to be a help to add value to other people. And that's evidenced by the way I've lived and the way I continue to live. When I came home a year ago, I wasted no time. I came out here and hit the ground running. By my eighth day out, I was working as a paralegal for Prisoner Connections, continuing to help the people inside with affordable legal assistance. We work for, through a network of attorneys throughout the state of Florida. I've been invited to speak at FSU School of Law on a panel. I've been a, a speaker at NYU School of Law where I've counseled and spoken to law school students. I work with the Bernstein Institute on human rights. We have a big, big program going on to push for jailhouse lawyer initiative, to teach people how to know and access the law. These are the things that I've occupied my time with since I've come home. And now there's a great threat that I may be stripped from my family, stripped from my mom, my new fiance, my friends, and all the other people that I love. I'm asking all of you to take the time to stand with me, to sign the petition, to reach out to other people, and get behind me on this. Our goal is to seek a commutation of sentence from the Florida governor. I've had a clemency pending since 2014. I pray and I hope that we as a team, as a unit, as a whole, can come together and accomplish this before they take my independence away. Thank you, everybody, for all your support. Thank you for all the comments I've received. Thank you for everybody who's already signed the petition, made donations, spread the word, shared the petition. Thank you to all of you. I cannot tell you how much it warms my heart. And I just pray that we all continue to have great independence in this country. Thank you and God bless.